Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will learn how we can install WordPress in our local computer and we can access WordPress and build a beautiful website. So without any further, let's move to the screen and let's see how we can do it. So first, when we will come to our screen, we will go to Google and you have to paste this link. I'll share this link in the video description so you can go through this link and from this link if you scroll down you can you can also know that what is uh, what we are going to use for our wordpress in pc so we will use wordpress stack vietnami wordpress stack and here you can see there is a download button just click on the download button and you can download this file so this is the installer file so click on the download and you can download this file it's a 201 mb file and you can see the file is now downloading so after the file is download we will see there is a file like this bitnami wordpress this is the file that we are going to install so double click on this one and it will take you to the install page so our um, system is loading Then you will see there is an option it will come your preferred language so our language will be English so click on English OK and then you will see there is an option set up Vietnam WordPress stack so click next and then select these two and next now where you want to install this Vietnam WordPress so here by default you can see it is in C drive but you can change the location where you want to install so I will change the location and i will install in this um, e folder and here i will create a new folder that is website let's i name it website and select this website and i am using this folder so in e website i am going to install this vietnam wordpress so click on next and then it will ask your name so here you will put your name so let's put our names and then your email address so let's put an email address then your login and password so just for now let's keep the password pass and user user so next you have to confirm the password so let's say password then hit next and then there will uh, they will pop up this one blog name so just keep it as it is then uh, no need to check this one hit next and then there is option launch wordpress in cloud so just untick this one and go to next and hit next now it is preparing to install so now your wordpress is being installed so we have to wait for some time so let's wait for some time and i am forwarding this video so that uh, we can uh, see after it's installed what we can do all right so it's done now here it is written launch bitnami wordpress tag so tick this one and then click on finish and here you can see it's successfully installed and then we can access wordpress if you click on access wordpress then you can see this is our wordpress by default website okay now if you want to go to dashboard from here just click on wp admin after this one and then you can go so that we put the email address user and pass is pass this is the one that we have used when we install this bitnami so we keep user user and pass pass so just go to login and if you click on login you can see this is the wordpress dashboard so cool we have installed wordpress in our pc for free now you can update this one to wordpress 6.2.2 latest one just click on please update now and you can update it to wordpress uh, latest version all right so our wordpress has been installed to our pc and this is the option so just let's go log out from this one and let's say now how i can access after i close my computer 
and I need to access this one again from uh, for my work so how we can do that just go to this my computer so we have installed wordpress in our local disk e inside website work so inside website you can see there is an option that all the files you will find here and there is an option manager window just click on this one manager window and a pop-up will open and here you can see you can go to your application so if you go to your application and you can see you have access to wordpress now here is one thing that i need to mention you can go to your uh, database from here open php my admin and you can go to a database now sometimes you can see like i go to wordpress but here it's saying like a server is not running like this type of error so for that you need to be careful to check go to this manage server here and here you need to see your mysql database and your apache server is started so if you let's say i stop this apache web server and mysql database and if i go to this application and you can see server is not running this message will come so if this message comes just go to manage server and start this apache web server and mysql database if you start these two things and then if you go to application you can see your application is run so all the helpful links i will share in the video description so you can find those in the video description so this is how you can install wordpress in your local pc and i hope this video is helpful to you all so if you like this video and find this video helpful do subscribe my channel so you don't miss any further video like this so see you all in the next video